Hey everyone, thanks for checking out our Brady Workstation tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to create sequential labels using our custom designer application. Begin by clicking the custom designer app on your home screen. Then you will select your printer and your required label part. After clicking create, you will be brought to the editing screen. To create a basic sequence, Click the Sequence button under Labeling Extras. At the bottom of the screen, you'll have your sequence properties, where you can select from a numeric, alphabetic, or alphanumeric sequence. Enter a start value, how much you want that value to step, and a label count of four. Click and drag the sequence onto your label, and click Print to see a preview of your sequence, one, two, three, and four. To edit that sequence, select the object, hover over the sequence icon, and click Edit Data Object, which will populate your Sequence tab at the bottom. We'll change it to an alphanumeric sequence type with a starting value of 1A. We adjusted the step to 2, and we'll still have a label count of 4. After applying those changes, we'll add a prefix and suffix information using the before and after text boxes. Now when we go to the print preview, you'll see your sequence of four labels updated accordingly. To create an advanced sequence, we'll click the advanced sequence labeling extra. Again, properties window is at the bottom. Enter a starting value of one and an ending value of three. Add additional elements to your sequence using the Add Element button. You'll notice that under Element Type, you have eight different options. We'll add a constant and a third element of alphabetic, starting value of A, ending value of C, that can advance independently or after the first or second element. Validate that your sequence is correct, and then click Next. Here we have the option to add the sequence as a text or one of 22 barcode symbologies. We will add it as a code 39 barcode by dragging onto your label and then previewing your sequence in the print preview screen. Thanks for watching. To broaden your skill set further, check out our other video resources.